think I want to get the steering put together on this boat. And I think I'm just going to rebuild the same kind of steering it had before. Because it worked really well and it lasted years. The only maintenance I ever had to do on it was replace the strings a couple times. This is that shaft that rotated that went the whole length of the boat. And it's got some nice bearings on it. I'll probably still use this. Everything works well. However, originally it went all the way to the front of the boat, but now this is going to be all open, so it only has to go to there. So I've got some extra. And I think this is the right size to do something very specific. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut a chunk. All right, that pipe is slightly too thick for what I'm doing. However, this one looks like the perfect thing. Some on the boat. It might be silicone. And is this a option, Jeremy? Yes. Uh, hold on. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Is the replacement for this whole thing. So I need these four things attached to this in some way that it's not going to interfere with the smooth surface on the inside. And what I've done previously in this situation is I'll, I'll put rivets through from the inside. Now the rivet head would get in the way so I countersink them a little bit so they're flush with the surface. And this blue stuff is thick enough that I can sink a rivet in there and it still has enough to grab onto to work well. So I think I'll figure out some way to attach all this stuff with rivets. Unless I have some countersink bolts around, I could always grind the heads of the bolts to, to make countersink bolts. Although, if I do that, I'm afraid there's not going to be enough material here. However, I could put that piece on there, do my little rivet trick a bunch of times so that that piece is held in really well. Could also glue it, but I, th I think a mechanical joint will be better. And then there will be enough material there to countersink bolts for all these four things. So these are all attached by bolts originally. Well, I probably want to change these arms still. Attaching them by bolts would be nice. And yeah, attaching these by the same, basically the same bolts would be great. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna do. That'll be, that'll be really simple as long as I can get it to work right. I happen to have some Forstner bits uh, that'll make a nice flat countersink for some rivets. Pick a spot. Sunk enough. Yeah. Okay, those are 
looking pretty good. Yeah, I think it should be fine. So little nubs sticking up. Might have to file some of those off. But... All right, that should hold this piece in place pretty well. Enough that I can get some screws in there. I don't have any countersunk, countersink bolts around. So I just cut the top off this one with an angle grinder to make it thinner. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Looks like the head will fit in my little slot there. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that looks perfect. Ooh, amazing. Oh, beauty. All right, those guys are looking good. And these are my arms for this before. I think I might want to switch them to something stainless steel. Maybe, maybe I'll go put this in place. <laughs> Make sure it actually fits. Oh, I hope it fits. All right. Oh, beauty. This is actually a little bit snug. What? Stand under here a bit so I can get this a little bit tighter. It fits perfectly right there. There's just a spot. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's right over here. It's a little snug. So, come on. Oh, yeah. That's what the problem is. It's just a spot where I had fiberglass here and there connected so it's extra thick. Just need to sand that off a little bit. Ooh, nice. A bit of grease on there. Mmm. Lithium grease. Yum yum. Whoa, now that is slidey. That is way more slidey than it needs to be. Perfect. Okay. From there, the pulleys will pull this sideways. They won't tip back. They could tip forward. I might have to. I might have to put something so it doesn't tip forward, but. I'm not going to worry about that until it becomes a problem. Shouldn't be a serious thing to fix. Just, well, I could just bolt something on here that comes around. Yeah, I just hold it up. Geez, maybe I should just do that. Whatever, I'll leave it. See if it actually is a problem when I use it. Um, now, what do I do to connect this to this guy over here? I don't know yet. Hmm. Something. Well, I might just do a, a stainless steel rod going straight from one to the other. Okay, what I had before, let me just check that this is actually in. What I had before on the other one was I had the plastic, the PVC pipe attached to here, another PVC pipe attached to here, and I could pull them apart so that when I pulled the motors out of the water, it didn't mess up the thing, you know. So I can pull that up and whatever. That also has a string you can pull, but it doesn't work. Um, let me think for a second. It would be nice if I could just have a steel rod, like a stainless steel pipe, going from here straight to here. But then what happens when I want to disconnect it and pull this up? I need somewhere for that rod to go. So say it's connected here, I disconnect this end. Do I just like, I don't know. I could have the connection more flexible so that this could just go up 
and stay connected. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I feel, I kind of feel like I should just try putting a stainless steel pipe directly from here to there. Just one piece of pipe, two holes. Screw it permanently on Well, actually, maybe, maybe that's what I do. Maybe I make the temporary connection at this end. So then when I pull the, the motor or the, the rudder up, I can put the, take the pipe off here and I don't know, put it up somewhere. I don't know, let me just, I'm just going to try making a straight pipe here with the two holes in it. And then, then, I don't know. Okay, pipe. It's just a, like a half inch, or is it a 12 millimeter? I don't know, it's either a half inch or a 12 mil millimeter pipe. Stainless steel pipe. It looks like it fits. I need a bolt. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, D burr. Well, that will work just like that. Yeah, even if it falls forward a little, whatever, it still works. So, what do I do about pulling up the motor and the rudder? Well, I can pull that up enough to get it out of the water without it messing anything up. So maybe, maybe I just put the nuts on those loose and just leave it connected all the time. I think that might actually be all right. I guess that's a good thing that ticks that way. Then it can come up. All right. This is maybe working out pretty well. Oh, did I forget a nut? Oh, I can't believe it. I forgot a nut. I need another nut. I really need not bring enough nuts. All right. Get another nut. I'm nuts. All right. Got all my nuts on there. That is beautiful. Oh, nice work. Man, this is going really well. out of the water. Uh, I guess I can attach my little pulleys up here. Although I don't think I need so many pulleys. You know, I had two pulleys here and I don't know, two or three pulleys up here to make a block and tackle so that I could pull a string at the top and easily be able to lift a heavy motor. All right, my camera battery died there. Uh, I didn't stop working while I was charging it and I got this silly thing in there and it turns the steering wheel and the steering wheel turns it. I obviously need to trim this off. You know, I'll take this little collar and slide it up next to here, trim it off. 
and I'll have to put a collar on the back too just to keep that whole thing from moving and I mounted the steering wheel yeah while the camera was dead I did a lot of stuff so I got bolts going through there into this and then bolts up there and then these I had to modify slightly but now they're connected up there And that makes the entire steering thing nice and sturdy. And I also got the string up in the back. I'll show you in a second, but here. Okay, to crack in. Turn, turn either direction. Turn a lot. Spin that propeller. Not propeller. What's that called? Steering wheel. Yeah, okay, turn it the other way now. A lot, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Keep going, man. Keep going. All right. Hopefully, this is turning the right way. When I turn to the right, that should turn. Dude, move, move. Don't grab that while it's going. Yep. Right direction. Good. I connected the uh, connected the strings correctly. I <laughs> love this. Oh man. All right. So. So this. Crack can you back up? No, no, don't grab everything. You're gonna get your fingers pinched. So this connects to this blue thing, which moves from a string that's connected there to the frame, then comes through this pulley, and then goes through a pulley there, through a pulley there, up to a pulley there, and across and wraps around this. So that when, <laughs> when the steering wheel turns that string, which goes up and turns this goofy looking pulley, it rotates this entire steering column, right? And that turns this, which also goes down to the other side with the exact same thing, down to there, over to there, to there, and then back connected. And I gotta say, this is, this is my favorite steering I've ever had on a boat. Oh, I love it. So I'm thinking one person can sit here, pedal, or sit there, and both people can reach the steering wheel. And, uh, and even you. And one of my favorite things about this is that it turns so many times. <laughs> you know, when I originally designed this, I wanted to be able to, to do that. Yeah. I don't know, you have to spin like half a dozen times around to get it to go all the way one way or the other. Because it seems like a piratey thing to be able to do. Hard to starboard. Yeah, that's starboard. Well, oh, I actually got it right. Hard to port. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Oh, it's the best steering wheel ever. You want to do some steering? Make sure you keep your fingers out of there. Yeah. Yeah. You can do some steering. So now that I have pedals, yeah. I have pedals and I have steering, so I can actually move this boat. I could drive it somewhere right now. Can you pedal? Well, we can't actually go anywhere. We're tied up to the land. I'm sorry, you got some pedals? I also don't have a chair. Here. Can we back up a little bit? Or go forward a little bit? We go forward a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have much. We only have like this much space we can move because we're tied pretty tight. Well, let's, let's go make dinner. <laughs> 